or the one third octal band case, the center frequency is uh, F1 multiply F2 and one half, and F2 is one third. So uh, F1 square to one third. What is it? Yeah. And then is it correct? Okay. So we 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 have all different octave band or one third octave band, and that is tabulized in the text. Okay. Normally, the center frequency of standard octave band start with the uh, uh, center frequency start with the three thirty one point five and the sixty three one twenty five two hundred fifty. 500, 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz. That is the uh, standard center frequency. Okay, one third octave and the center frequency start with 25, 31.5, and so on, so on. Okay. This ratio we call decibel. Okay. Zero decibel means what? The pressure we hear is the same as the minimum pressure we can hear. Zero decibel does not mean that there is no pressure. Zero decibel means the pressure we hear is the same as reference pressure. What about the 10 decibel? means 10 divided by 20 is 1 half. Therefore, the pressure we hear is what? Reference pressure, 1 half power of reference pressure. OK? So it does not have meaning at all up to now. In the beginning, I said absolute scale, Pascal does not really convey the physical sense. Therefore, we need some other scale. And I introduce the decibel scale. One reason is because pressure we are hearing is ranges a lot from small pressure to large pressure. Therefore, we need to set up the decibel scale. But still, decibel scale does not provide us the, the, the scale we can really feel. Okay? And I would like to say, therefore, the sound pressure, I mean, decibel scale of this room when I talk or when I do not talk. The decibel scale, sound pressure of this, is about 45 decibel. But when I speak, it's going to be more than 65 decibel. Of course, depends on the position where you measure. When you go to a lousy restaurant, like the restaurant you, you normally use as student center, very lousy one, then I would say that could be more than 70 decibel. If you go to quiet library, the decibel scale would be 35 decibel. And that is summarized in the table in the 
So let me summarize what we learned today. Intensity certainly depicts the how the wave is propagating in space. And we will go some details next lecture. And we introduce the measure that expresses a sound. Decibel scale for sound pressure and octave scale for frequency of sound. That will be demonstrated again next lecture. In the next lecture, we will do some demonstration and we will check your uh, how you hear, how your uh, auditory system uh, sends to the different frequency content. And also we will provide you some sound signal so that you can have a basis of judging decibel scale. So later on, when you uh, when you uh, when you uh, have a la uh, when you attend the last the next lecture, you will be able to say that hey, this is 30 decibel, this is 40 decibel, this is 80 decibel, or you can say, oh, this is one kilohertz. Oh, this is 80, 800 hertz, or this is 1.5 kilohertz. So at least you have to be able to guess the frequency as well as the magnitude of sound. Reason? If you do not feel, then learning acoustics is useless. Because you have, you have to be able to talk about the real thing, right? When you handle noise, you have to be able to talk about the noise level, that is decibel scale. Okay? When you hear some car noise, and you have to be able to guess the level of noise, you may say, oh, that is 80 decibel, or that is above 90 decibel. The frequency content, how you do it? Of course, you can bring your own instrument to measure the frequency content of noise, but what you can do is you, if you have uh, some reference frequency, for example, like this. And when you have uh, some sound source and you fissel it, and you can compare it, and you can say, hey, this is less than one kilohertz, therefore it's around 800 hertz. You can guess it. If you have a two frequency component, like a and then, then you can guess it, right? And without bringing any instrument, you can guess the frequency of noise or frequency of sound. Okay, then what you can do, oh, this is less than one kilohertz, therefore the wavelength should be larger than 34 centimeter, right? So you can visualize the wavelengths of noise, and you can work a lot of things without using instrument. So I hope you can have some, that kind of physical sense that is associated with the sound. That is very important. So coming lecture will, will give you, provide you a means to train your ear. Uh, okay, so don't miss the uh, coming lecture. Okay?